hi welcome to my latest video in this video I'm going to be looking at the brackets that I've made that fit on the grill here in particular the new spotlight mounting brackets or light bar mounting brackets that I've made so after I designed these to take these amber strobe lights I had a request from one of the Facebook members who was after a very similar bracket but actually wanted a, a sort of a platform here to with a hole in to mount uh, he was trying to mount a light bar across so he needed two brackets with with holes in so what I did was I looked at my two-part design that I'd 3D printed and had a look to see if it was possible to modify the design. So instead of taking this 12 volt, 12 LED uh, flashing amber light, you could actually mount a, a spotlight or a, a light bar onto it. So what I came up with was this. So the diamond shaped piece there is exactly the same as the diamond shaped piece there. So let's have a quick look now at how these attach. So we have a rear piece which is identical to the rear piece that goes behind these amber lights. So this one very carefully goes in behind. Now this is a bit fiddly and in the video that I did about these I show a technique using a piece of string through that hole with a matchstick behind it and you put the string up round there and that allows you to then carefully pull it into position whilst holding the string otherwise you risk dropping it down the back of the grill into the darkness so that is the rear piece in position so let's have a look now at the front piece Pop those screws in there. so this piece has these two stainless roll pins on it and the idea is that they help to locate the front piece and the rear piece together so you can then get your screws in but I recommend always keep hold of the back piece or if you've used the string a trick with a piece of string through it keep hold of the string because as you start to tighten those screws in, that back piece is going to fall down if you're not careful. Once the screws have bitten in, then everything's fine and it can be tightened up. Don't over tighten because it's just plastic. You want to tighten enough so that that is then solid. Okay, so that's just an, one bracket fitted as an example. Normally you'd be putting them sort of here or here, two of them for two spotlights or a light bar across the front grill. Be aware that these are not designed to take a heavy load. So small LED spotlights or an LED light bar not great big heavy glass fronted spotlights um, otherwise it's just going to flex the grill too much and um, then yeah, your, your light beams will be dancing about as you as you're driving along now the grill on my car is the pre-facelift type okay it's the older model up to 2010 
The diamond holes on the older style grill are different to the later one. So there are 10 of these diamond holes across the top row on the pre-facelift. I've bought a facelift grill on eBay just so that we can compare. And now you can see that this one has got nine diamond shaped holes, not 10, and each one is larger than those on here. These are about 60 millimeters, these are about 70. So when I posted photographs of this bracket on the Facebook group, a lot of people then asked if I made them for the facelift grill. We're asking, would they fit the facelift grill? Unfortunately not. So I then set about modifying the design slightly to have a larger diamond shaped insert with this chamfer here, and then a completely redesigned rear part. Now the reason for that we tip this grill carefully over is the diamond shaped cutouts on the facelift grill are actually tubes like this with a fairly flat back end to them. It, it's not a sloping panel like on the pre facelift. So, this piece here that I've designed with a slightly chamfered step at the bottom will fit in, it's a tight fit, but it will fit in there, into the back of the facelift grill. Let's just stand that up, there we go. So that's a tight fit then into those diamond shaped holes and then in exactly the same way as we fit the pre-facelift ones this part pushes in locating the roll pins first and then we have a couple of stainless steel screws to put in. There are shorter screws on this one because the rear part is a lot sort of smaller than the, uh, the sort of triangular prism shaped piece that we had behind the, the other grill. Those screws locate in here somewhere. There we go. They go in there and let me just drop the phone down on this little tripod. We can now, oh, now I've got both hands free. That's really solid. Just be careful not to over tighten the screws and it will crush the grill slightly. But that's really solid there. And you can mount, you could have two of those, whichever holes you want to put them in, you could put them on the lower row if you wanted to. The diamond shape cutouts are exactly the same shape. Um, and then mount a light bar or two spotlights. Now these ones, I've only just released. They're not for sale just yet. This is um, end of August at the moment. So from about mid-September 2020, 
they will be available on my website fl2lift.com not available yet they're currently being tested by a small group of Freelander 2 owners who have agreed to do some testing for me I don't have a facelift grill so I can't test them properly on the road myself um, but I've got in touch with a few members of the Facebook group who have a facelift grill and they are going to run these put some spotlights on put light bars on just give them a good testing and let me know how they get on once they've been tested fully and only when they've been tested fully will I advertise them for sale on my website so watch this space coming soon Hopefully that video was useful. If you'd like to know more about these or the amber lights or any of the other things that I've done to my Freelander 2, then please don't hesitate to leave a comment. Please like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.